Problem 1 asks us to calculate the de Broglie wavelength of a golf ball with a given mass and speed and an electron with a given kinetic energy. So in part A, we're given two variables, the mass, which is equal to 50 grams, which I would like to convert right away to kilograms because you're going to need to, which is equal to 0 0.05 kilograms and we're also given its velocity which is 20 meters per second. To calculate the de Broglie wavelength we know the equation is equal to Planck's constant over momentum. Now we're not given momentum directly, but we can solve for it using the linear momentum equation, which is simply the mass multiplied by the velocity, mv. I'm going to add in the value for Planck's constant right away, which is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th. Divide that by m times v, which is 0 0.05 times 20. At this point, you can just plug this into your calculator, and you'll end up with this result of 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th. And this is the solution to part A. Part B, we're asked to find the de Broglie wavelength again, which we know to be Planck's constant over momentum. But in this case, the momentum of electron is not given by mv. The momentum of an electron is given by, well, we can solve for it uh, using this equation for energy, uh, which is the momentum squared over 2 times the mass. Now we know the mass is the mass of an electron, which is a constant we can look up. And we know, given in the problem, that the energy is 10 electron volts. So this whole equation will be equal to 10. To solve for momentum, we multiply both sides by 2 times the mass of the electron. and then we square root both sides to isolate momentum. If you fill in the variables at this point you can find the momentum to be the square root of 10 times 2 is 20 times the mass of an electron which after looking it up gives us 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st. At this point you can just plug this into your calculator and you'll end up with a momentum equal to on this for now. So, so far we have momentum. I'm just going to put all this in the calculator at one time instead of doing two different equations. So now that we know what the momentum is, uh, we can right away plug this back into this equation. And remember we know what Planck's constant is right here. 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th. Divide that by 
our known value of the momentum, which we haven't actually solved for yet, because I'd like to do it all in one step. Okay, so this is what we're left with right now, and this is equal to the de Broglie wavelength. So now at this point, now I can put it into the calculator. And you should be given an answer that looks something like 3.878 times 10 to the negative 10. And this is in meters. Now you might want to take it another step further and convert this to the unit of angstroms, which we would do by multiplying this by one angstrom over 10 to the negative tenth meters, since that's how many angstroms there are in this unit of distance. Now the reason we're doing that is because this happens to coincide quite well. So by taking this side and dividing it by what you have here, these cancel out and you're left with wavelength equal to 3.878 which we're going to round to a significant figure of 3.9 angstroms. And this is the de Broglie wavelength of an electron moving at 10 with an energy of 10 electron volts. That's the solution to part B.